Well, today I've got a special guest, Dr. Katie Chimes, all the way from the UK, who you guys may remember. She was my English girlfriend from the book. And so for the, those of you who have been through this 10, 15 times or whatever, probably know a lot of the stories and things that happened because I wouldn't be where I am today if it hadn't been for the experience that I had with Katie in our love story and how it developed and what I learned and obviously what I share with you guys. So we did an Instagram story and we got a bunch of questions on like what, what do people want to know, what they want to ask. And so this question here is, he says, this is, uh, do we usually read names? Yeah, we no. can. So this is Noah... O'Kane 3. He says, I'd love to know what it was like for her dating other men after she had been with you, a 3% man. You want me to answer that question? Yes. That's I've always said I've been in very good relationships. It's fantastic. I think we had a great experience and you're someone who's very important to me. Always have been important to me. Um... And as you say, it was like a, a learning experience, wasn't it, really? It's like 17 years ago. <laughs> so, but I think we went through an experience at the time and doing all the seminars and everything, and we both learned a lot on both sides. And do you want to explain about the chocolate box? Like, you learn what it is you want from a chocolate box. Of, so we, there's this thing, this analogy you had of the chocolate box, which is where you go for what it is you really want in a man and what you don't want in a man. And you have a whole list of different things and there's things that you will have, your complete must-haves and things you don't want to have and things that you don't want to have. Like for me, I have certain things that I just could not have and you have to fit it in the in a, as a chocolate box and for me, I can't stand a, a milk chocolate strawberry cream. So anything that's not what I want and they're things that they aren't great, they're like a milk chocolate strawberry cream, you just chuck them out. So... Um, I think it was a learning experience in the sense of I've always, as I say, had, in my experience, had quite good relationships. And it was another one I think it was a great experience. But I did miss Florida. <laughs> I missed the sunshine. Um, but I think it just enhanced things that I know I really did wanted. Did you get spoiled? Did I spoil you too much? I still got spoiled. Did it raise your expectations? That's probably what they I think know. what I was trying to say. Because the insinuation is, oh, well, after you dated Corey, it's got to be a step down from there. That's But I wouldn't say it was, for me, it was a step down in that sense. It's a different type of experience, but I knew more what I wanted, and we had great communication and what it is we wanted, and I... I was just more, and just knew more what I wanted going forward. I think it was, a, it was a different time for me at the time, a different time for you at the time. And so. Yeah, we were both going through a lot of changes. Like you were getting out of personal fitness and training mm. as your full time career, mm. and then eventually going on to become a doctor of chiropractic. So you remind me of things. I, I forget. Yeah. Like when we're talking about things, I'm like, how do you remember that? I didn't, I didn't remember that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the interesting <laughs> thing about this is sitting here talking with her or my other girlfriend I wrote about, the one that had the daughter. And because we still talk, sometimes we get together every few years. And and I'll I start talking yeah. about things, and she has, like, no recollection yeah. of it. Yeah. Because for me, it's – I wrote the book, and then literally for the last 17 years, I'm constantly getting questions about what's in the book, questions about our relationship, things that happened that I wrote about. And so the, the memory is fr constantly being burned mm. into my mind, whereas – for you, it's like you're not involved in this stuff every day. And it's funny talking because a lot of things you, just like you said, you, you don't remember. And my other girlfriend, same thing. I'll I'll tell her about something. And like I, I remember we were hanging out a couple of years ago. She was like, why did we break up? <laughs> she didn't remember because it had, for that one, it had been like almost 20 years at, at that point mm -hmm. since when we were together and had split up. So maybe let me rephrase a few things then. I'm too close. Um, because... I think after all the relationships I've been, I've always been in long-term relationships. And after I split up my... I've got well, you did have one me. guy that was not, what you say, a, a yeah, great relationship. Yeah, but that's one out of all... all yeah, all I had one too that was yeah. just yeah. really bad. But I don't speak to any of them and you're the only person I've spoken to over years. And say so it's been 17 years, but we'll go for, for a few years without speaking. And then like a few years go by, like five, six years ago, I speak to you. 
And then we don't speak for a little while and we speak again. But it's like yesterday. And I think because we had such a, a great friendship as well, it doesn't seem like there's any nastiness or horribleness there, if that makes sense, you know? So it's like, yes, it's so easy and effortless. Yeah, I don't... And that's we never what, had a fight. No. We had disagreements. And, we never yelled. I never once did... She, I don't ever remember her getting angry. And it's mm. it's hard to get pissed off at somebody that's always bubbly and happy. <laughs> and she's always giggling. She's always looking for a reason to laugh. And obviously, you guys can hear that she's got an accent. And so... We constantly, when we were together, and even when we talk on the phone off and on over the years, or even see each other, we're constantly making fun of each other's accents mm-hmm. and voices, and she never takes it personally. I had a Brazilian girlfriend, which I talked about over the years, and I, I'm, I'm just like that. I'm a jokester. I like to joke around and make fun of people, and I would tease her, and she would get butthurt and take it personally, and she mm-hmm. always took it personally, which, you know, that was part of one of the things. If you can't laugh and have a good time together, and she... The other person's constantly getting butt hurt because they're insecure. It's like you just being around her pisses her off, or looking at her funny, or laughing at something that you think's funny and she doesn't think is funny. She would get butt hurt and offended, and it's it's really hard to be in a relationship with somebody that's kind of grumpy and pissy and bitchy mm. and easily Definitely. offended. And like she like nothing seems to get under her skin. Mm. She has a high self esteem because her good family, her parents are are awesome. They're all a family of high achievers, very successful and. She's pretty easy going, easy easy to get along with, and that's why we always stayed in touch because she always we always added value to each other's lives. That's it. It's, it's always I've, uplifting, and I've always valued you a lot. So that's why it's never been hard or eff- it's just always been effortless. It's as if you guys have like a really strong connection. No matter how long you guys haven't spoken mm. to each other, it's still there. It's, it's like, like it'll never Chunk, change. Chunky's dad is the same way. We There would be times where I was living in another part of the state and we wouldn't see each other for years. We might go a year or two without talking and, and we talk and we hang out and it's like a day hadn't gone by. Like this is the first time, you know, last night that I had seen her and since probably 2007, probably. I think was the last time you came to visit. I can't and remember. it didn't, <laughs> it, it felt like yesterday. Yeah. Like we, it's like there was no, no time had gone by. Mm. And so, the, like, when you have a connection with somebody like that, whether it was an intimate relationship or a friendship, it's like those people are just always going to find a way to stay in contact. Mm. But the, the so, native ones kind of... So it's like, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing, I think, when you have a good friendship there. Yeah. And I think that's really important. 